Cannabis business owners are finishing their paperwork to meet the all-important filing deadline. Another round of cannabis business applications are underway. And as Gil Reyes reports, a big crowd gathered in Silmar in preparation. I was confused when I saw the number of uh, attendants. I wanted to make sure we were clear. We're not giving away cannabis tonight. <laughs> Marijuana business owners packing the house in Silmar, learning more about phase two of LA City's cannabis licensing program. While phase one dealt with applications for marijuana retailers, phase two is mainly for manufacturers operating before 2016. Phase two also gives application priority to minorities and other victims of the war on pot. That's right, first dibs for applicants who've either been convicted of marijuana crimes or live in neighborhoods disproportionately affected by pot-related arrests, but they'll need proof. For residency, it can be anything from old utility bills to declarations from people you live with, uh, leases, it can be uh, school records to show that you were in that district and that's where you would have lived. The city's Department of Cannabis Regulation admits licensing has been slow due to staff shortages. Phase two applications, again, mainly for manufacturers and suppliers, continues through September 14th. Applications will be accepted for 30 business days. Um, as long as the application is submitted during the open application filing period, it will get processed. So if you don't get an answer um, during the pro uh, the 30 days that the application filing period is open, don't worry. There are probably phase one applicants in this room that have been waiting months and months and months for us to get back to them. Learn more at cannabis.lacity.org. I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The Department of Cannabis Regulation says its staff has now grown to 10 people. The agency hopes the boost will help make the application process faster.